everybody and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new if you are new just please excuse how i look i don't always look like this especially with the greasy slick and hair um some of you will know that i am now on my accutane journey for my skin which is currently looking like this. Um, so that's why I've kind of not been wearing makeup recently as well, um, just because I don't want to aggravate my skin more and it's currently really dry. Um, if I put makeup on, I can't keep moisturizing it. So yeah, and the reason that my hair is oily and like this out of my face is because my scalp is so dry and itchy. Um, I'm kind of trying to moisturize it. So I've got argan oil in it at the moment. And then um, I've been using the Head and Shoulders, I think it's a eucalyptus flavour. It's kind of like minty on your head and it really relieves the itch when it's sitting on your head. Um, and kind of like, you can feel the mint if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of just doing the oil before I wash my hair, but I needed to cook tea. And you will finally all be pleased to know that today I'm finally going to cook that creamy broccoli pasta recipe that I showed you in a vlog a couple of weeks ago. And so many of you requested the recipe for this. Um, and I've been a bit slack on doing the video and showing it to you, so apologies about that. But nonetheless, here it is today. And um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. Apart from the UK is still in lockdown right now, but yeah, so um, I can't remember where I saw this recipe. I think it was on Instagram and there was an advert for Philadelphia and it was showing you like all the different recipes that you can make using Philadelphia. Um, the one that they had, I didn't have all the ingredients. So I kind of just Googled, um, I think I just Googled like creamy pasta recipe or Philadelphia and broccoli pasta recipe um, and kind of got like a different variation of it. Although I did, tweak it to my own taste and what we like to eat so i will just show you um what what i do basically i can't remember 100 percent what i did last time but it is one of those recipes that you can just do to your taste and you know what you feel like so let me get the recipe up the um i found out a really cool thing the other day that you can screenshot your phone um on the internet so for example, I've just gone on BBC Good Food and looked for a brownie recipe. Now, if you screenshot this and, oh, I turned it off, sorry. So if you screenshot this and then tap the little thing in the corner here, tap on that and then change the top to, um, rather than where it says screen, if you change it to where it says full page, so if I click full page, and then you can literally scroll down the whole page and if you put up here you can this little export button and then click um, save to files it will save the whole recipe for you and then you just save it as a pdf document i think that's such a cool update i didn't know that that's like the biggest flex hack that i've learned in the last couple of weeks so i just thought i'd share that all with you so this creamy broccoli pasta recipe i will leave down below but i will put it on the screen as well while i'm cooking but it basically um you know just calls for um this is for two people by the way that the recipe is and it basically calls for seven ounces of pasta which i ignore two tablespoons of olive oil two cups of broccoli one onion two cloves of garlic a cup of vegetable broth cream cheese, honey, lemon juice, salt and pepper, and chili flakes. Last time I didn't have honey, but this time I do, so I'm definitely gonna put it in. But I'm just gonna get the ingredients ready, and then I will show you what to do.
I'm not sure it looks as good as last time. I think I served it up better the first time, but I will pop a picture on the screen of what it looked last time as well. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna sit and eat this now and then probably chill. Um, but yeah, I'll catch in with you once it's done and I'll let Matt give the taste test once we've eaten it. So we've just finished and I really really enjoyed it, it was lovely. It's one of those meals that you can kind of um, like adjust to your own tastes like I said earlier um, and also we had it with penne pasta but you can have it with um, like spaghetti or last time I think I cooked it with fusilli pasta um, and according to the recipe as well you can also add you know other things in. We added mushrooms or mushrooms in but you can also add in black olives or feta cheese or sunflower seeds, things like that as well. But for the real opinion, Matthew, what did you think of it? It was lovely. What would you rate it out of 10? Eight and a half. That's not bad. Would you say it was better or, or worse than the first time I cooked it? All about That's the same. About, yeah. yeah. Probably about the same. By the way, that wasn't a burp, my throat just gurgled. Did you hear it? No. It like made a froggy noise, like Wah. Wah. But yeah, we just watched Shit's Creek while we eat our dinner. Um, and you know, I'm gonna cook some chicken and clear up, aren't you? But yeah, I hope you enjoyed that recipe. Um, don't forget that I will leave the link down below as well so you can find the actual recipe and go off that if you don't wanna go off the video. But yeah, I'm now gonna have a shower and wash out this oil in my hair. But yeah, I'm now gonna go and have my, Matthew! I'm gonna go have my shower and I'll catch in with you afterwards when I'm not an oily slob. So I've had my shower now and my head feels a lot less itchy. Um, obviously it still looks oily and greasy but that's because it's still wet but it's really shiny um but yeah i'm still waiting for it to dry um oh but it just feels so much better now it's got some moisture in it but that's pretty much all i have to say about that i am now going to make myself a cup of tea and then i'm probably going to get on with my puzzle 
Um, my uncle and his girlfriend have lent me this puzzle because um, I believe they bought two on like a deal or something and they weren't doing this one at the moment so they've kind of lent it to me. It's a Cinderella puzzle and this is how I've gotten so far. Her dress, you can see I've got loads of puzzle pieces on top of it but it's so hard because all of the pieces are the same. It's like a white dress but then I've started doing some of the carriage and the horse but this will be the picture once it's finished hopefully now i've got a good start it won't take me too much longer but the edge was really hard as well as it was just all stars um but yeah time to make my cup of tea and i think i'm gonna end this vlog here and just have a chilled evening but I hope you all enjoyed the cooking video. Um, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button as that really helps me. And subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. So, yeah, see you all next time. Bye, everybody.